In this video, I'm going to explain how you can buy a new PC that you can use to run AI locally without breaking the bank. And it might surprise you because this PC is coming from Apple. I have to explain myself there because usually Apple is a premium product for premium customers in the sense that you have to pay a lot just for the brand. But in this case, Apple actually has a real technological advantage that makes it very capable of running AI models, even on simpler consumer hardware. To illustrate this, I want to explain the two options you usually have when you are trying to buy a PC for local AI models. So let's say that our goal is to run local AI. What's the first option we have? Well, the first option we have would be to get a PC with Windows or Linux plus an NVIDIA GPU. And the reason why this works is because NVIDIA has to write hardware and software to make AI work properly on even consumer hardware. There is, however, a huge limitation with these kinds of machines. You see, these machines have working memory called RAM, which is used by the operating system to run programs. But there's also memory dedicated for the GPU, VRAM. And the issue is, these two are completely separate sets of memory. And while the RAM memory for these consumer PCs is usually plentiful, they start with 16 gigabytes and they usually can go up to 32 or even 64 gigabytes without too much of a price increase, VRAM is much more scarce. To illustrate this, if you got an RTX 3080, which is a pretty good NVIDIA chip that's available on the secondhand market for like around $300 or so, you actually only get around 10 gigabytes of VRAM. And this can be a problem because a lot of AI models might demand more than this. And you don't really have a choice but to use smaller models, even if your GPU is quite powerful. And the reason for this is that let's say that you've downloaded an AI model on your disk, like a large language model, you need to include this entire model into the RAM of the GPU in order to properly run it. So you are constrained, not necessarily by the power of the GPU, but usually by the amount of memory that it has. And Apple actually has a solution to this, which is a uniquely present in their newer Mac systems. So Apple, ever since they are releasing their systems with their own Apple Silicon chips, which are the M series chips, has a unique memory architecture. And this is our second option for buying a great local AI device. You want to have a device with Apple's unified memory architecture. And that sounds difficult, but it's actually quite simple to explain. Instead of having RAM and VRAM, with Apple's unified memory architecture, you have one set of memory that can be used by both the CPU and the operating system for regular programs, but also for the GPU to, for example, run AI models. And the great thing is, Apple machines nowadays pretty much all start from 16 gigabytes of this memory, which means that even with a base model, you actually have more memory than an expensive RTX 3080. And the great thing is, Apple has some great deals on M-series chips that you can buy right now. Let's have a look at Apple's website to find those deals. So here on the Apple homepage, immediately we get an ad for the MacBook Air. I wouldn't recommend going for a MacBook if you're looking for the best bang for your buck. Instead, let's go for a Mac Mini. If we go to the Mac Mini page, we will see in a moment that they start with the Mac M4 chip. All of them have an M4 chip at the moment. Now, the great thing about the base model is that it has that 16 gigabytes of unified memory and it starts at $600, which is incredibly cheap. It's actually like the best offer that Apple has given us in years. So this is a great offer. And I'm going to show you in LM Studio a couple of language models that you could run on this exact cheap machine. So here in LM Studio, I've got a couple of example AI models that you could run. For example, you can run the very popular 7 billion parameter Mistral model, quantized down to 4 gigabytes in size. And you could run, for example, Microsoft's 5.4 model, which is a 14 billion parameter model, because it's 9 gigabytes in size. That being said, you are going to eventually run into limitations. So if you want to run, say, a 32 billion model, like the Quen model here, which is great for local coding, you won't really have enough memory with this base model because this takes almost 20 gigabytes of memory. So let's have a look at the upgrade options that Apple offers us. 
So the first upgrade option that we see here is one where you're paying $800 for twice the amount of SSD storage. While AI models do take up a lot of storage, I find paying $200 for this amount of extra storage is definitely a bad example of the Apple tax. Uh, it's a bit too expensive for what you get. So I would just skip this. Instead, I would actually go for this $1,000 machine because you get 24 gigabytes of unified memory. That would allow you to run that huge Quen model locally. And 24 gigabytes of unified memory is pretty amazing. You would need a really expensive NVIDIA chip to be able to match that. So even though this does have a bit of Apple tax, I mean, you're paying $400 for a little bit of extra memory and storage, because of the unified memory technology, this is actually still a great deal when you compare it to the alternative of having to buy a very expensive NVIDIA chip. If you want to go even further, you can also get the M4 Pro. At $1,400, you get 24 gigabytes of unified memory still, but you get an M4 Pro chip, which is much faster. Personally, I don't mind going for the base M4 chip myself because I would be fine with waiting 10 extra seconds for the image generation to be done, as an example, when it means that I can just experiment with many different AI models for just $1,000. However, this is still a great option. In fact, if you want to go even crazier, you could also go for a Mac Studio. Let's have a brief look at that as well. So Mac Studio, at least a new version of it, is currently under pre-order, but we can still have a look at the tiers that they offer. And the first one starts with an M4 Max with 36 gigabytes of unified memory, although we are getting into the expensive realm now of $2,000. So I'm mainly showing this to kind of illustrate the power of these machines, but this is not the best bang for your buck anymore, especially when we look at the most expensive model, which is $4,000, but it does come with 96 gigabytes of unified memory. That is kind of insane. I don't really think there's any consumer grade NVIDIA GPU that's anywhere near affordable with that much unified memory. So the weird thing is, even though this is $4,000, if you really want to get far with local AI, that's still surprisingly a good deal somehow. Still though, that's not the budget PC that you're looking for. So let me explain what PC is the right choice for you. Well, if you're just starting out with local AI, I would recommend going for the $600 Mac Mini. You can't go wrong with this one because you can try out many different AI models. And if in the end, you don't really like the experience of local AI, you still have a great personal PC that you can use for many different other purposes because it's a great deal regardless of whether you use AI or not. If you're pretty confident that local AI is for you, I would recommend bumping up to the $1,000 tier for that extra unified memory. And I think that if you are very confident that you want to run local AI models, then I would say that the M4 Pro tier is worth it because you do get that extra inference speed so you can run the AI models faster. Now, the only important caveat that I want to share in this story is that not every AI model runs on Apple Silicon chips. However, the community support for most popular models is there. And as the AI field evolves, the support for Apple Silicon chips is usually already natively embedded in into most AI models. So I think it's really worth the investment to go for these Apple chips, especially when you compare it to the alternative, which is trying to find the internet for a very expensive first-hand NVIDIA GPU or getting lucky on the second-hand market. If this video taught you something new, then you should check out my community in the link below because there I teach real AI engineering and I can teach you as well how you can run any AI model locally. I hope to see you there.